My name is Amelia Hartung and I am 17 years old. Currently I live in Listowel and I'm going to the secondary school here in town. So when I was little I lived on a farm near Palmerston and grew up with four other siblings. Um, my family went to church every single Sunday and that was a big part of our life was God and faith and Christian values and morals that were taught to us. When I was three years old, I accepted Christ into my heart, and I really do believe that He came into my life at that point when I welcomed Him as a really young girl, and I thank Him for that. Um, after that moment, I just went along with other little kid things and didn't worry about anything, and nothing bad was happening, so I figured God was all good because my life was good. So, since everything was going really great in my life, I believed God, that God was good and that He was going to continue to make my life good. When I was eight years old, my parents divorced and it was very unexpected and I didn't see it coming. Because my life situation changed and it didn't seem good to me anymore, I figured that God wasn't good anymore. He wasn't good for me and I didn't want anything to do with Him. I didn't think He was necessary anymore. I tried to ask him to fix the problems that I had, but when things continued on, both my parents were living at different places, I decided that since God was going to fix my problems, he didn't need a part in my life. He wasn't worth it. As I started to become a teenager and living at my mom's place, my mom and I started not to get along as well as we used to and it was really difficult for me and my mom to get along living in the same house. So when I was about 13 years old, right before high school, I decided to move into town to live with my dad. <laughs> Through this time period, I was going to some Christian camps that were really amazing, and God revealed himself to me at these camps through amazing worship and teaching, and I really felt God's presence, and I thought that was so cool. But every time I would go home, and it wouldn't be a big deal. I didn't feel like God was with me at home. He was just in those other places. That went on and off for a long time and it didn't feel good. So after a while, I decided to allow God to have an influence on some of my decisions and my choices. So through little decisions, everyday reactions to things that happened, I started to let God have control of my life, the life that I couldn't handle. He didn't make everything perfect. My parents were still divorced, my friends still had struggles, other things showed up. But I knew that I didn't have to do it on my own and that I couldn't do it on my own. And that was really encouraging to me, to know that I don't have to have that weight because I knew I couldn't handle it. Within the past year and a half, I have struggled with a lot of doubt, fear, and worry. Um, a while ago, I started to doubt everything I had ever believed in about God and faith and the people around me. I just wondered, what if that wasn't real? What if I was wrong? What if all of this was just a lie that somebody made up a long time ago and that's all we're listening to? I struggled with the doubt and I thought that because I was doubting, I couldn't love God anymore. I couldn't follow God because I was questioning His very existence. I had a lot of people help me through this situation and through this time. Um, many different mentors, they talked to me and encouraged me. And one woman told me, she, she said to me, Amelia, if you ever come to me and say that you've given up, then I'll cry for you. But when you come to me and say that you're struggling with something, I praise the Lord because you are fighting with something. And those words encouraged me so much. I didn't feel guilty for wondering whether or not God was real and what I believed in was real. I felt like I was a fighter. Like there was strength in that. Like I was trying to find the truth. I want to get baptized because I want to show God through my actions that I'm not ashamed of my devotion to Him. And I want to show Him that I am making this commitment and there's no turning back.